So, as 2019 is coming to a close, I thought I would do a quick video to tell you about my favorite travel accessories from 2019. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and welcome back to Explore Informed, where we dig into the details of travel, so that the next time you go exploring, you can go a little bit better informed. Before we jump in, if you are enjoying the content on this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button down over here. One, that will help you see our future content in your feed, and two, that will help us to grow this channel. And if you don't like the content, let me know down below. I do want your feedback. So, travel accessories. You know, I travel quite often for work, as I've mentioned before, and sometimes that means traveling 30 or even 40 weeks in a year. So I rely on my travel kit or my gear pretty heavily at times. And I thought it'd be fun to tell you what travel accessories I rely on the most, therefore making them the most useful to me and my favorites. Now these aren't necessarily the trendiest pieces of kit, nor are they my favorite because I'm getting paid to tell you they're my favorite. These accessories are things that I, kind of a semi-road warrior, use day in and day out because they make my life easier while on the road. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so item number one, the AirPods. I, I hate I hate even mentioning the AirPods. It's kind of cliche. Um, this is not a tech channel, but they really are great for travel. They're tiny, the case is really small, um, the case has a battery built in, so as you use the AirPods, you can put them back in for a quick charge. They work for hours and, and hours on end. Uh, I use them when I'm traveling on the plane, I'm driving, I'm walking through an airport, maybe I'm walking to a client or in and out of my hotel. They just, they're so small and convenient that you can really use headphones in, or in situations where you otherwise wouldn't. Like It just makes music, podcasts, media more accessible than it was before, so that's really why I like them. You don't have to obsess about turning your audio on and off like when you're getting off the plane. You just leave it playing in your ears and get off the plane. You have your hands free to get everything you need. I don't know, again, it sounds cheesy to even talk about AirPods, but they're just so convenient, they're so small and so easy to use. Kind of, They are a great option for traveling. They don't sound great, I will, I will admit, they do not sound great. I'm not like a huge audio nut or audiophile, but I can't hear very well on an airplane. In fact, I think I might get the AirPod Pros because I can't hear anything on the airplane. Kind of the ambient noise, they don't seal very good in my ears and the ambient noise was kind of annoying, but these are awesome for like talking on the phone, listening to music as you kind of transit your hotel, your airport, your Uber, whatever. Now again, the AirPod Pros just recently came out. They have a totally different fit in ear. They fit much better. They have active noise canceling, which I think you can turn on and off. Um, and the sound quality is going to be a lot better, uh, but if you don't want to spend 250 bucks, this is a decent alternative for around 150. I use them both with an Android device and an iPhone and an iPad and a Mac computer, uh, so they can be used for across really any operating system. Um, maybe there's an extra click or two when you're bouncing between Android and iOS, but no real issues or problems with that at all. So that is the AirPods. Let me talk about again. These are things I use. They're not sexy or glamorous. These are things that make life easier while on the road. Um, so I just want to remind you of that uh, as we kind of move through this list. The second thing is this USB device from Belkin. Um, it's basically a surge protector type thing. It has three outlets here on the front um, and then two USB outlets here on the back. I'm not a big nut in terms of surge protection and kind of electronic safety necessarily. I more so use this when I need additional outlets. I hate checking into a hotel and finding out that there's only like one outlet and it's in a lamp or something, or it's maybe hanging on the side of the desk and I can only charge one thing or two things at a time. This kind of solves that problem. It allows you to basically charge a computer, an iPad, iPhone, whatever, and have USB here on the side. So it allows you to charge potentially five things at once from one single outlet. Now you may not get a ton of power, I guess necessarily, but you can leave things plugged in overnight and have all your accessories charged the next morning. I think this is super useful. Um, this is one's a couple years old, again, it's made by Belkin. I think there are maybe more recent versions, um, but you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks, super useful if you're traveling all the time and have a lot of accessories or kit that need to be charged. Um, the third thing I wanna talk about are, I guess what I would describe as pouches, things that help you organize. I know I did a video about packing cubes before. We're not gonna go over that again. Um, this is a little bit of a different type of situation. Um, I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to organization. I don't like to lose things, so I like to kind of pack things in the same place or in the same way every time I travel. 
I use pouches, various types of pouches when I travel. I usually put these in my carry-on and they help me keep things organized and kind of keep things safe in a sense. That way I'm less likely to lose them or something's less likely to fall out of my bag. And this one here is from Topo Designs. I use it to um, store snacks like Lara bars or Kind bars, that kind of thing. Uh, and you'll notice these leashes here on the side. Um, these are made by Tom Ben. They're, they're definitely unnecessary, but I find them really useful. Um, you can kind of clip them to your accessory, maybe use them for your keys. I think they call them key straps, actually. You use this end to attach to your bag, and that way things are kind of permanently connected to your bag. They're less likely to fall out in the airport, kind of at the baggage carousel um, and security, or even on the airplane. So I don't know, again, probably overkill, but if you're a little bit like me at all, um, they are really nice to have. This is a small pouch from Tom Ben. I use this one right now, kind of just to store random business cards, random cards, things that I don't want to get mashed up in my bag. They all do kind of add a little bit of weight, but I find that again, it's just nice to have things compartmentalized and organized and kind of connected to my person and bag so that I don't lose anything. And I use this bag, this is from Toomey. It was kind of a random accessory kit that came in another bag I purchased, but it's the perfect size to store like medicine, like extra pair of headphones, a dongle for my work computer. I have some Advil in here. I always travel with a sleep mask. I know that again, that's unnecessary, but there are times when this has come in handy. You may not use one ordinarily. It's not a bad thing to have in, in times of emergency and it weighs nothing and is easy to bring along. So pouches, if you are someone who likes to organize, compartmentalize when traveling, um, they come in handy all the time and I find them very useful. And these things make my life easier in a sense, as I mentioned at the top of my video, that's important to me. I always know where everything is and I'm, it's always easy to find. So kind of compartmentalizing and packing away into smaller pouches or bags, again, just makes things easier to find when you really need it. So that is the pouches. The next thing I wanna mention is notebooks. I use this hardback notebook from Moleskin. It's real small, kind of has lined pages. I use this to take notes, um, to write down to-do items, and really as kind of a daily, not a bullet journal, but really just like a daily task list to kind of help me focus on what is most important. Uh, I made a commitment when I um, started my more teaching job five or six years ago that I would have no paper. So this is basically the only paper that I carry anywhere. I don't print things out. I don't take notes in paper generally other than inside of here. And I just don't use paper unless I need it for a specific client need. And also when you're traveling all the time, paper is a huge pain in the butt. Like paper gets wrinkled, paper is heavy. Like it's just not a good thing to travel around with. So I try to avoid paper, um, but I do carry this um, pretty frequently. Again, I've used almost the entire thing over the last year or so. It's just really useful again for just taking down to-do items, action items. I basically create a new list every day of what is most critical to get done. And it's really small. Like I can honestly fit it in a pocket. Um, I can fit it in my back pocket. So if I need to walk into a client, I can kind of slide it in my back pocket. It's just really useful. Not glamorous or trendy or fancy in any way, but really reliable, really practical and really useful and small and convenient for traveling. Um, another thing I want to mention is the travel umbrella. Now again, like, there's nothing fancy or special or fun or exciting about a just regular small black umbrella. But if you need it, it is really nice to have. So I travel with this almost every week. I check the weather forecast in advance and say, is there a chance in my rain? Okay, I'm bringing my umbrella. That's, it is a little bit heavy. This is an older one. Um, maybe not the most efficient thing to carry around all the time. Um, but if you're a frequent traveler traveling day in and day out or week in and week out, you probably could make use of a travel umbrella. The other thing I'll mention too, it's not always easy to carry a raincoat, for example. If you're wearing a suit all the time, I can't just put a North Face raincoat over a suit. You can, but it's not always the nicest looking thing to do, right? So sometimes you need an alternative, like an umbrella. So I travel a lot wearing a suit or a big overcoat, and I can't always put on a rain jacket. So that's why I carry a travel umbrella. Also, it doesn't take up a ton of space in your bag. It may look like it does, but what you should do is put it inside something else, like put it inside a shoe or put it inside somewhere else where it fits well. That way it's actually taking up no real additional space in your bag. It definitely adds weight. Um, that's just part of the deal. Sometimes you gotta carry a little bit more around to have everything you need. And the last thing I will mention is a tablet. Now, I travel with a work computer and then a tablet. This is an iPad. Um, again, probably unnecessary, but really useful. Uh, I use it to mainly 
consume media, take notes, kind of manage my personal affairs. Um, I have this pretty heavy duty Logitech case on here, which I actually really like as it stands so I can use it to watch movies on the plane. It has a place to hold an Apple Pencil, which I don't have. Um, and it comes with a keyboard. The cool thing about this iPad, um, or some of the nicer higher end iPads, is that um, the keyboards actually draw their power from the iPad itself, so you don't have to actually charge the, the keyboard at all. Um, it uses the little port on the bottom. This is an iPad Pro, and it draws the power from there. No need to charge anything separately other than your iPad. I got this iPad um, from Sam's Club for a couple hundred dollars off sticker. I was really surprised. It, it had a single one in stock. It was marked as clearance, and it was several hundred dollars cheaper. I think $200 cheaper than the same device listed on apple.com, even cheaper than a refurbished unit. I don't think Sam's Club really understood exactly what product they were selling or they just wanted to get it out of the warehouse. Um, either way, I saw it, took advantage of a really good deal, and I'm really happy that I did. I'd carry it everywhere with me. Um, I travel with it nonstop, and it's really perfect for traveling. And if I'm going on a personal trip, this is all I take with me. I can basically handle all web browsing and email from the iPad itself. I have a keyboard, I can multitask, I can watch Netflix and browse the internet. The new iPad OS is really flexible and friendly. I found it super useful, glad I have it, and I will not leave home without it. So yeah, those are my travel accessories for 2019. Again, these are not made in 2019, they're just the things that I used a lot in 2019. And again, they're not fancy or sexy or glamorous, but they make my life easier, and therefore I consider them my favorite travel accessories. I will provide links down below in the description to these items as long as I can still find them if they are still for sale. As usual, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Explore Informed, or you can visit us on the interwebs at exploreinformed.com. And again, please hit the subscribe button down over here if you want to catch our future videos. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.